All right, YouTube, got a hot topic for you here today, a point of contention with everybody that has a well system, and that is what kind of well tank should you buy? What is the best brand? Is it worth the money? Do I need to spend this much? Is the warranty worth it? Whatever you got to ask about well tanks, we're going to go into it today with you. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. As always, we appreciate you tuning in to our channel, staying subscribed to us, smashing that thumbs up button as you always do. Helps us out a lot. And here we go again. Got another um, video idea that came up from a uh, viewer that s sent this to us. And lo and behold, I just was cold and raining and finally got around to doing it. So what we got here, we got three different tanks. Um, two of the most common brands that people normally go with. Uh, one's from Lowe's, one's from Home Depot. This one here in the middle is a Challenger made by FlexCon, which is a higher end version. So we're gonna get into those with you right here today. Alright, so before I go into the differences of each tank, I'm going to start off by saying all three of these are 20 gallon tanks. They all have the same drawdown characteristics, meaning at a 30-50 pressure switch setting, each tank is going to draw down about 5.3 gallons, meaning, no, 6.2, I'm sorry, that's 40-60. 6.2 gallons, meaning you have to use 6.2 gallons of water before your pressure switch closes on at a setting of 3050. So performance wise, these are the same. All right. Now, this tank was installed in 2016 in June by somebody else. This tank over here, manufacture date, August 2016. This tank here, manufacture date, October 1999. This is one we just pulled out. All right. You can see the height difference here. This comes into play. The height of the Utilitec and the water worker is 33 inches. The height of the Challenger is about 29 inches. Okay. Look at the bottoms of them. All right. This one has a plastic skirt on it. The Challenger and the Water Worker are metal skirts on them. And then I'm going to ask my cameraman to help me out on this. If you turn around, yeah, there you go. See what kind of quality this is? I think you're going to get to the point of the video. Let's just pull that off. So the Utilitec and the Water Worker are the same. They've got a nipple on here that's welded to the bottom. And then they've got a one inch elbow threaded to it. Whereas the Challenger here, all right, I'm gonna roll this over here for you so you can see it. It's a welded elbow that comes off of the bottom of the tank. Are you with me? All right, look at the, look at the seams where the tanks were welded at. Challengers, got one at the top, one at the bottom. The water worker and the Utilitex are different. There's kind of one in the middle, one about a third of the way between the middle and the bottom. And then this one's kind of in between all of them. Got one about halfway and one down here. There's another groove in here. Now, what always matters is the pocketbook price. All right, so this is comparing prices here locally. I'm sure it'll be somewhere around the same wherever you live. This is not counting installation cost. This is just the cost of the tank itself. So we're comparing apples and apples. You can get this tank today at our local Lowe's for $149. You can get this tank here at a local Home Depot for $154. This Challenger tank here, you can get for about $250. Okay, so $100, that's a pretty big difference. So what's the advantage? 
why do I need to spend the money on a Challenger or another brand that's probably just as competitive, if not more competitive, with a Challenger as a Wellex Troll. I'm going to throw a Wellex Troll in there, give them a shout out. Um, Wellex Troll and Challenger, in my opinion, make the best tanks on the market. Okay, so why spend the money? Well, you know, again, these have been in here three years, three and a half years. This one's been in there 20. Do you really want the fool with taking this back and getting a warranty with it? You can go in and look at their warranties online. There's all kind of disclaimers that void it. Um, one of the ones that I, when I was reading through them I found was most interesting on the Utilitech was if the tank is installed, if the tank is installed outdoors, the warranty will be voided. This is meant for a indoor installation only. Okay. I can't tell you how many tanks I've seen get installed outside. How many warranties is that going to void? Okay. You go online and try to find the thickness of this tank and this tank or the metal used, you can't. The Challenger is manufactured with 16 gauge steel, uh, which is 1 16th of an inch. Pretty, pretty durable, pretty thick. The butyl, the diaphragm in this tank is 100% butyl. You go look at the water worker, you go look at the Utilitech, you can't find any specifications that say exactly what the butyl is made for. Again, why? why? Why are they hiding this from you? Are they trying to hide it from you because it's cheaper? I, I don't know. I'm just trying to present you with the facts so you can decide them all. Sounds like a news station or something. I'm not getting into all that. Anyways, okay, weight. I know weight's kind of going into it here. You go on their website, this tank weighs 30 pounds. This tank weighs 33 pounds. This tank here weighs 36 pounds. This one's a little bit heavier. Why? Is it built a little bit beefier? Um, you know, we get this all the time. Just, you know, oh, I can go to Lowe's and get a pump, or I can go to Lowe's and get a tank, and it's, and it's cheaper. Well, you know, that's a good point. Might be cheaper. But look at what you're getting. And, you know, you're going to, this is going to last you 15 to 20 years, if not longer. It's going to be there for you. Do you really want to fool with changing four or five of these out versus one of these every 20 years? If you're a do-it-yourselfer, you can save some money and do it yourself and save the labor part of it, but you're still buying the tank. You're, so the extra $100 you saved, you're going to eat that up quickly. So that's pretty much it as far as the visual comparison goes. We got one more thing we want to show you. We're going to get down and dirty. We're going to cut all the tops off of them here. And my film, my film man's going to get over here and show you the inside of them, what each one of them looks like, and we can try to compare the inside of them too. So don't tune out yet. The best is yet to come on this video. Anybody need you a hole drill, call us. We know how to get you a hole. All right, so after making a mess and getting down and dirty, uh, as promised, we cut each of these lids open and uh, we're going to take the camera through each tank and show you that just because it's a bladder tank does not mean they're made exactly the same. Um, they're all completely different, and I think you will be shocked to see what's inside. It's kind of like uh, cooking some food on it, and we're getting ready to pull the top off and see what's going on here. So let me show you all what's going on first. Here's the Utilitech. All right, so the first thing you'll notice here, oh, one last thing I did want to confirm with you before I start all this. I did measure the thickness of the Utilitech and the water worker tank, they are made of 18 gauge steel. And I confirmed what Challenger had on their website, Challenger's is made of 16 gauge steel. So this is an 18 gauge steel tank. Notice where the bladder is attached at, all right? It's permanently fastened to the side here. And I can't get it out, but the bladder expands 
based off the side here. And obviously you can tell there's been water inside this tank for a while. Um, you can see the corrosion on it already. Uh, it's been bad for a while. Just because it made it three and a half years doesn't mean um, it's been good for that long. There's been water up inside of here for a while. Um, all right, on to tank number two. This is the one I found the most interesting. Here comes the water worker. Yeah, exactly what I said. They've got a metal cover over this to keep the bladder from rising up any higher in the tank. Okay, and I'm not going to cut this open, but what I don't like about this design is, is every time your bladder is contracting and collapsing, that diaphragm, that rubber is coming in contact with this metal, giving it a quicker way to go bad. Wouldn't you rather want a rubber bladder that's freestanding and doesn't have anything to come in contact with versus contacting this every time it expands and contracts? Obviously, I know that is dependent upon what pressure you're running in your tank. Most of them are 40, 60 these days. Some of them are even higher than that. So just one key thing to keep aware of when you're buying tanks. And last but not least, the Challenger. All right, so look at this. Look how much different it is in here. All right, so similar to the Utilitech, there's no dome over the top to keep the bladder from rising, but here's what I like about it, and I hope you can see this. The bladder is attached at the bottom, but look, as the bladder expands and contracts, the bladder is joined by a ring here, and it's the ring itself that is making contact with the metal wall not the bladder. So the bladder is not in contact with metal and the bladder is not si sliding on metal. It's all separate. And as your tank is working, obviously I know this tank's 20 years old, you can see it's got a big hole in it. All right, but it's attached down there at the bottom, there's the elbow, and it slides up and down on this ring until it gets to the bottom weld here where it stops. So, what's the point of all of this? A tank's not a tank, y'all. Again, I don't care which brand you go with. I'm not a proponent of, well, I actually am a proponent of Flexcon or Well Extrol. But, you know, this is the main lifeline of your well system minus your pump. It's important that you have something that's gonna last, that's gonna be maintenance free, that's gonna be trouble free for you. Because nine times out of 10, when this goes out, if it's not caught quickly, it's gonna get your pump. And, you know, the Utilitech and the water worker, they've lasted, haven't even lasted four years. What if it's not caught? What if you got a house that's for rent and you got a renter there that doesn't care about it or something? And next thing you know, you're replacing the tank and a pump, you know, is it really worth saving the hundred dollars or 150? Again, I'm not talking about labor cost here. Is it really worth it? So, you know, sometimes it's just mindful to know what you're purchasing. That's why I really wanted to do this video. I've been wanting to do it for a while. Just dissect them and see what's inside of them. There is a difference y'all. And it's well worth the money to, to pay for a tank like a Challenger or a Well X Troll versus your standard old Lowe's and Home Depot brand. Um, to me, in my personal opinion, they're not worth the money. And I've said that too many times, I'm not gonna say it anymore. So feel free to leave some comments. Uh, if y'all have had any experience with these, let me know what your experience is. If you've got any more comments or any, uh, any more video suggestions, let us know about them. We love to hear from them. And hope you got a lot of enjoyment out of this video. Be sure to smash the thumbs up button again for us. We appreciate you watching. And thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more videos coming up for you.